I look? You well, look sure. great. You look <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. When you are in between meals and, and your stomach is not working, and you have an empty stomach, your stomach, inside the stomach, is going to be an acid of about 4 to 4.5, which is still acidic, but it's a mildly acidic level. Now, when you eat a meal, your stomach pumps hydrochloric acid into your stomach. It, you know, it produces hydrochloric acid, pumps it in, and it lowers the pH level down to 1.5, which is where it is extremely acidic, which is where it needs to be in order to break down the proteins. Okay, proteins are digested in your stomach. And so if your stomach acid is not allowed to stay low at that 1.5 level, then you're not going to have complete digestion. You're, the proteins are not going to get fully broken down. They need to be completely liquefied before that all gets sent into the intestines where it gets absorbed into the bloodstream. So that's why you have so many digestive problems in America is because people are guzzling water while they eat. So regular waters have, are all over the map. City waters are right around 7.0 because it's regulated by the government that they be. And that's why I was telling you guys definitely do not drink the alkaline water because that's up about you know, anywhere from 8.5 to 9.5 pH. And here your stomach is trying to stay at a low pH to do its job. Right. So you're fighting your stomach if you drink any water at all. So if you if you were to hypothetically drink um, like a, something of a 4.5 pH with your like, would that be really bad, or would that be like just be all right because it's staying at the same pH as your stomach? Well, if you, hypothetically. Hypothetically, if you must drink something with your meal, the lower the pH, the better, because you don't want to be counterproductive. Your stomach is trying to be at a 1.5. Oh, 1.5. 1 1.5. In a resting state, when you're not eating, your stomach sits at about a 4, 4.5, 4.5 pH. But when you eat and your stomach has a job to do, it pumps hydrochloric acid in there and it lowers the pH in order to fully digest the food. So if I just drink, drink like lemon juice with it? No, listen, <laughs> listen, here's the thing. It's just a habit. It's just a habit, okay? Yeah. I, I first heard this information probably 20 years ago and being a kid from Texas, you know, I, I thought they were crazy, the person that was telling me this. Don't drink water with a meal. I mean, you always drink something with your meal, right? Well, you know, you start experimenting with it and you find out you don't need to drink anything with your meal if you're eating properly, okay? If you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, they have enough moisture in them that, and if you chew enough, which most people don't, if you properly chew your food and you're eating fruits, you're eating foods that are fresh, that have enough moisture in them, you don't need to drink anything with your meal. Okay, these are pH test drops. Very similar to what you put in your swimming pool to test your pH of your swimming pool. So this first glass over here is distilled water. Okay, this next one is San Pellegrino. This one is Aquafina. This one is Dasani. This one is Poncha Springs tap water. This one is Condon Water 9.5. Okay, now when you look at this pH chart, let's give it a little stir. And it's kind of hard to see because the table is yellow. Whoops, and I'm making a mess. It's white paper, but you can see these are all kind of in the yellow range, right? So you see on here, the more yellow, the more acidic they are. I mean, this one's really bad. Kind of hard to tell with the table being orange. I didn't, you know what? I didn't put very many drops in there. Hang on, we're going to add some more drops. We don't have enough color going here. Now yeah, let me get a spoon. Okay, so we need to maintain an alkaline state in our bodies in order to prevent disease. Because an alkaline state basically means there's more oxygen and more minerals. So, all of these drinking waters here are down here in the acidic range. Okay, tap water is going to be pretty close to neutral. It's mandated by the government that municipal systems keep their tap water right around 7.0. And it's 7 to 8 over right there. Yeah, somewhere in there, 7 to 8. And then here you are off the charts in your alkalinity with your Congan water. Okay, now the thing with tap water, with city municipal water, is they add lye 
in order to bring the pH up. Huh. Okay. This, the pH is up because of the minerals. The minerals are split open and it's got more oxygen in it. So cancer, cancer thrives in an acidic environment. All diseases. All disease thrive in an acidic environment. So the more foods you can eat that bring your body alkaline, the more water you can drink that brings your body alkaline, you're naturally providing a disease-free environment for your body. Now, now do the test of uh, pouring oh. the, uh, the Kangen water into the other water. Okay, so now let's say if your body is in an acidic state and you drink Kangen water, wow. then it turns wow. it doesn't it, take much at all. So, so which water was that? Yeah, but look at this. Yes, Whoa. look at that. San Pellegrino is so acidic. You have to, if you drink this one little bottle of San Pellegrino, you probably have to drink, I don't know, five gallons of common water to neutralize inside your body. Exactly. That one's not as bad. That one's not as bad. And that one's not as bad. But this thing, and there are others. crazy. It just disintegrates. Well, it's you, so you'd acidic. have to pour like five gallons of kangen water in there to neutralize it because it's so wow. acidic. This is Aquafina is my like that's generally what I drink like just because that's what we buy and yeah, it's not. Well, I, I don't know. I just find everything. Well, let me tell you what Aquafina is. Aquafina is purified. That's fine. Aquafina is purified water. It originates from public water sources and is then purified through a rigorous seven-step okay. purification process called hydro. Stay there process removes substances and other blah blah blah. So this is, Aquafina is basically city water, okay. municipal water from some city. I don't even know where. Talk about PET. The bottles? The plastic? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so anytime you're drinking water in a plastic bottle, the plastic leaches into the water. Mm -hmm. These are petroleum substances that are extremely toxic for us. And so you never, n never, especially if you have one that you leave in your car and it gets hot, all that plastic gets into the water. It is so bad for you. What about like the refillable, not like this plastic, but like I have my hard Starbucks plastic cup, what about that? Okay, the harder plastics are better than the softer, mm -hmm. but most of them still give off BPA, which is another very toxic chemical. Okay. So your first choice is glass. Glass is non-reactive, and it's not going to put anything in the water. And your second choice is going to be food-grade stainless steel. 